folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2 VGA. And when last we left off, it may be the middle of the night on day four, but look at all the gains we've gained. We are max on strength, agility, vitality, and luck. We are max in parry, dodge, throwing, and climbing. We have 102 communication, 172 weapon use, and intelligence is gaining quite a few stats. We could fight more out in the desert, but I think we've done all we need to here. I think we could quite safely head back to Shapir and rest. Because I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen tomorrow. Not a single thing. It's not like Omar subtly foreshadowed that soon bad things will be happening, and it's not like the stall burning in the gate plaza is a sign that something bad's going to happen. Everything is going to be just fine. Just fine. Now, one thing I could do before I leave is I could talk to the guard about fire. May thee be granted a happy evening, Effendi. Thanks. Now, before I was clicking on myself and talking about fire, I was effectively telling them about fire. Now, let's talk to you about fire. I regret it very much, but I cannot help you with that. Fair enough. What news has been going on? Uh, caravan and rumor? It is said that it was here. It is death to break the smallest applause. We have indeed heard that. So, nothing else for us to do here. Let us pop back into here, use our key, and get... Good night's rest. Oh! Hello! Didn't expect to see a guard there. Right, let's just pop over here. And get some shut-eye. We shall sleep until the morning. Ah. <sighs> Finally, rest. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Marvelous! It is now the day dawning on day five, and we are absolutely going to save. Because nothing bad's going to have happened at all. Let's pop out. Ooh, you didn't say anything today. That's a bit different. How are you doing? Much happens in Japan. What would you have me tell you about, my friend? Anything happening? No, apparently not. Apparently not. Oh well. It's been a while since I've seen you, my friend. Let's go get some breakfast. And have a conversation. A dreadful fire elemental stalks the plazas, burning all it touches. Soon Shapir will be awash with in flames. Hero, you must save us all again. Oh no! That's terrible. Hero, please take care of yourself. I worry for you. Thank you. Do you have any... thing to say about the elemental? I only know the elementals are dangerous. Perhaps others could tell you more. Thanks. Anything... to say here? Could I ask about dancing? No clue as to when the next dance is going to be. Well, thank you very much. I will eat my food, because I'm going to need all my energy to deal with this elemental. Your breakfast is delicious. Now let us talk to you, my friend. It's been a while since we've seen you. Let us speak about the elemental. The elementals are some sort of magical things which could destroy us all. Well, that's no good. It's such an interesting land. We could ask about the fire elemental specifically. Living flames which seek to consume everything. We shall be burned to cinders like a Saurus steak left too long on the grill. That sounds terrible. Alright, I'm gonna tell you about myself because I haven't spoken to you about my adventures. You're indeed quite the hero, my friend. Enjoy the sights of Shapiro, oh hero. Try not to burn to death. Well, this sounds pretty terrible. An elemental rampaging around. You know what? I think it's finally time, folks. It's finally time 
to do what Derek has been brought here to do. And let's go get some sleep. This sounds like a job for a different hero. Somebody else can deal with this. Let us, uh, rest until evening. Ah. The bed is so enticing. So comfortable. I'm sure somebody else will turn up and handle this situation and everything will be fine. You wake up much refreshed as the sun sets behind the mountains. And then, I think we'll go back to bed. Ah. Sometimes you just gotta take some time for yourself, you know? You just gotta take some time for yourself and just... Have a couple of days to recharge your batteries and unwind. And once you've done that, you're ready to take on the world! Nothing bad's going to happen. I'm sure the Sultan will get some adventurers or some other hero will show up and all will be well. Oh. Who could have seen that coming? Environmental crisis. The city is destroyed. Great job, hero. Yeah, I probably should have done something about that, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have done something about that. Good thing I'm a fighter! I know exactly how to deal with situations like this! And that is to look at you. It is a magical mass of fire. Well, let's speak with this magical mass of fire. It would be a heated disconversation. Well, guess what I could do? Have at thee! Think again. No, no, I I'm gonna have at thee with you. Watch out! Oh no, that was bad. Did we lose some health from that? I think we did. Uh, yeah, we definitely did. Oh no! Look, I want to stop you! Have at the elemental of fi You burnt the si- Stop burning everything! Jeez! Look, I, I just want to stop you from causing mayhem! Come here, you! How much health am I actually losing from this? A fair bit! Look, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to get my sword out, and you won't like that! You won't like when I get my sword out. I'll have at thee with you! All your joints feel inflamed. Being fired really burns you up, doesn't it? Welcome to our exclusive Embers Only Club. Darn it! Looks like you can't, in fact, talk to the Elemental. But I know who we could talk to that might be able to help us. And to get there, we're going to very, very quickly use the map. You're up to your compass and elementals. You can't use your map now. Okay, let's quickly get out of here. Okay. We are far enough away that we should now be able to use the map to go see Aziza. I think Aziza will be able to help us with this situation. I hope they can. Welcome, Derek. Oh, am I glad to see you? Come in, sit down, and we shall speak. Hello. Welcome. It is good to have a visitor who understands the proper way to enter conversation. Let us sit, let us have some tea, and let us discuss serious things. Oh, there are many serious things we must discuss. Shall we share tea? We shall! I could really do with some tea right now. The tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we have shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Oh, I think you know. Let us talk to you about elementals. Perhaps it would be well to show you as well as tell you about such things. There are four basic elements which make up the universe. Water, earth, air, and fire. These look fearsome. An elemental is formed when magic shapes an element into a semblance of a living creature. Elementals are very powerful and destructive. They can be weakened by the contrary element, but they cannot be destroyed. So water for the fire one. 
that's the one we're facing. Once weakened, the elemental can be captured. Once captured, the magical nature of the elemental can be used for helpful purposes rather than harmful purposes. Okay. That's good information. Would you like to discuss? I w Ooh, there's a lot I'd like to discuss here. First, contrary element. The contrary element or weakness of fire is water. The weakness of water is air. The weakness of air is earth. And the weakness of earth is fire. Good to know. Weakening an elemental will force it to seek escape and thus be captured in a suitable container. Let's talk about capture. An elemental trying to escape will be drawn to a container of an appropriate element. If there is no container, then it will either flee or dissipate and reappear elsewhere. A container can be created by choosing an appropriate receptacle for the element, such as a water skin for water. Once the elemental has entered the container, its magical essence will be retained. One who thus captures an elemental will have power over it to use as he pleases. Let's talk about the fire elemental. Perhaps it would be well to show you as well as tell you about such things. The essence of fire is hunger. As long as there is something nearby to burn, it will be able to move freely. It can consume the very bricks which make up the floor of the plazas. Well, that's no good. Until it is contained, it cannot be controlled. The weakness of fire is water, but the elemental of fire will avoid water by moving away from its source. Unless you find some way to drive or lure the elemental away from the open plazas, where there is much it can burn, to a more confined area, you will not be able to use water against it to capture it. Good to know. Once it is captured and contained, it behaves as a magical flame. Interesting. Any rumors? No, you do not have any rumors. So, we need to talk to somebody who knows a bit about fire. Who would know a bit about fire? I think I know someone who'd know about fire. Thank you for the help, Aziza. You have been invaluable. Your knowledge is fantastic. You are most welcome. But I must go and save this place. It has been a pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps we shall share tea again sometime. All right. Let us go. What time of day is it? Still early. Good. The sooner we deal with this elemental, the better off we'll be. The better off everyone will be. Right. Let's go to someone we know knows a lot about fire. The apothecary. Hello. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Have you seen the fire elemental? It is magic of the most marvelous kind. So very beautiful, the dancing flames. If I but had such a creature at my command, the pills I could make. Hello, sir. I wish to talk to you about important things. What is it you wish to know? Tell me about the fire elemental. Fire glowing in the very semblance of a man, a marvel to behold, and yet a deadly peril as well. To understand the fire elemental, you must know the flame. Tell me about the flame, good sir. Watch this. Ooh! See how the flames react to incense? Fire is attracted to the things it burns because it is very vain. You know, incense would make quite a lure for the fire elemental. It would be very possible to lure the fire elemental away from the plazas using this incense. Where it is weak from hunger of water, capture it. Thank you! Could I have some? This incense is made for the finest frankincense. It should attract the flame, as the moth is attracted to it. It is only 70 centines. Okay. So. Can I buy that from you? Uh, yes, I can. And I will haggle for it. Oh, you think I'm not going to haggle for this? I'm going to haggle for it. Very well. If it will save the city, you may take the incense. Thank you. That's very kind of you. You have in your possession a quantity of fire elemental attracting incense. You are carrying 
one pouch. Alright, did I gain any communication from this? I gained honor, but no communication. Okay, let us, uh... Let us see if we can do a bit more haggling. Let us save first, just in case we lose too much time doing this. So, let's get our money. And let us... Haggle away! I think I want this for 517! Or 4! That is an offer I'm prepared to accept. What about 18? Okay. 17. Okay, we bought some oil by mistake, but, uh, you never know, we might need oil. You possess one small container of Soros oil. It's 30 quarks weight. Well, we have some now, and we can probably put that in our, uh, chest later. Right, so, what about some poison cure pills? We would like to see if we can get them for four. Eleven dinars? No, no, no. Ten dinars? What about nine? Price is firm. Okay, fair enough. What about mana pills? We have literally no need for these. Fourteen? Thirteen. Okay, so the lowest we can get those is thirteen. How about two hundred and fifty for the vigor pills? Four eight eight. Four seven six, we could do better than that. Four six four. Four five two. Four forty. How about 400? Okay, you're, you're not going to negotiate further. That's fine. Healing pills. How about three? Okay, nine. Eight. I mean, eight's not bad. Can I get for seven? Can I get two for seven? No. Okay, that's fine. But, it's still day is dawning, and... We did gain some communication, we now have 104, so this is how we are going to ultimately raise it. We're going to raise it like that. So we have incense. What we don't have is a way to contain the elemental. Is there anyone over here that could... Ah! You could maybe help me! Also, while I'm thinking about it, let us fill up our water skins, because we're going to need to do that. You fill your water skin with cool, clear water from the fountain. Hello! What do you contain a flame in? A lamp. Surely a great adventurer as yourself will need a lamp on your travels. Allow me to sell you the finest oil lamp in the land. Allow me to talk to you about... Let's talk about the elemental, shall we? We know little of such things but that we will suffer when elementals are around. Okay, let's talk about the fire elemental. Such a destructive thing in the plazas means a terrible loss of business and lives. When water is thrown at it, the thing of fire will leap, merely leaps away. Can I talk about a lamp? My oil lamps will light the way through the darkest night. Surely an adventurer such as yourself would have need for such a lamp. For you, Effendi, I will charge but 15 dinars. Is there a way we could get this for a lot less than 15 dinars? If I ask you about the fire elemental again, will he give me the lamp? No, I think I need to buy it off him. That's fair enough, we have plenty of money. I don't think my communication is high enough. Right. So, I'm gonna haggle you down to 5 dinars. Though it is far below the price I must pay for such an object, nevertheless, I am out-bargained, and you shall have it for a mere fourteen dinars. Oh, no, no, I want it for a bit less! It grieves you very much, but what can I do? It is impossible for me to charge any less than thirteen dinars for such a beautiful and valuable object. What about twelve? I see no further progress in our negotiations. I am sorry, Effendi. Okay, I will buy it from you. May this lamp light your darkness. Excellent! Let's look at it. The shiny brass lamp is engraved on the bottom. Aladdin Lamp Co. You're carrying one. It weighs 180 quarks. Right. We actually have everything we need to deal with the elemental. So you know what? Let's go deal with the elemental. Um, we want to head to... Here. 
Now, you're here. Right. If I use the incense, we could just use the incense on the elemental, but I highly doubt this is going to work. Man, that's hot! Yeah, that was not a good plan. Let us instead use it here. Oh, no, no. We, I think I need to use it more on the ground. You can't use that item here. Okay, if I put it down. Okay, if I do this. Ah, it's following me. It's following me. Okay, now we go this way. You have lured the fire elemental away from the plaza. Now you must try to weaken and capture it. Okay, the first thing we need to do, I think, is put this lamp on the ground. You put the lamp on the ground, and now... Water! Take this! As you pick up the lamp and rub it, a small flame appears. When you rub it again, the flame goes away. You now have a magic lamp. You put the lamp safely away in your backpack. More importantly, we have dealt with the first elemental. Relatively easily, too. And we did it by going to someone who knows a lot more about this than we do and getting some advice. Remember, we don't know everything. We don't know many things. Welcome, hero. Welcome. Welcome, indeed. We did it. Shapir is saved, and never again shall I be played with Problo. Who are we kidding? It's going to be played with problems. There are going to be more elementals, but this means that we now have more time with which to do some training. Quite a bit of training, too. Let's also put these rocks away. There's not much point in filling your storage chest with rocks. Really? I, I don't think that's true. Fine, I'll just put the rocks on the floor then. That counts, right? I doubt the game's gonna let me drop my lamp. I hope the game doesn't let me drop my lamp. I get the feeling I'd need that. Uh, let's put this in here. You don't want to carry these venomous things around with you, so you store the ghoul claw. Oh wait, I, oh wait, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. I want to, uh, get those actually. My bad. Um, I just want to get things out of there. Uh, so, let's get these. You shoot the ghoul claw and the ghoul. I actually want to sell those. I'll do that in a moment. For now, that goes in here. You put the scorpion tail away. You didn't feel too comfortable having that thing in your pack anyway. And when we come back, folks, it is still dawn on day five, and we have dealt with the first elemental, and now we have a magic lamp. An awesome magic lamp that we can use whenever we like. It's just your average, everyday magic lamp containing a fire elemental. It weighs 180 quarks. Heavy, but we can bear the load. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not, and if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. One down! More to go. Three, by the looks of it. Can we deal with them? I hope we can. I hope we can.